beer today. Uh, this one's actually being requested by Jason, Thursday 21, because uh, he, he knew I, I had this beer for a while and uh, he wanted me to review this. So, Jason, finally, time has come for this. And this is called the Green Tea Ale, and it's done by the Great Lakes Brewery in, uh, down in Toronto, Ontario. Well, uh, this is a spring speciality beer. It says a beer brewed with organic green tea and ginseng. And it's uh, it's a bomber, so 20 ounces, 650 mils, fairly large bottle. Um, this is kind of a bit of a light, uh, light, uh, not very potent beer. It's only 4.2% uh, ABV, and uh, there's actually confusion with the Great Lakes Brewery because um, there's also a Great Lakes uh, Brewing Company, I believe, uh, somewhere in the Midwest in the states. And uh, for me, I was kind of confused when I saw this. Uh, I, I was sure this is an American list, actually from Toronto. Um, I guess they uh, they took the same kind of name because they're all based uh, near the Great Lakes. Well, the back thing um, reads: "And now pursue to bring you the most flavorful and unique beers possible. We're proud to release this tasty spring ale, handcrafted with specialty malt and hops. We added carefully selected organic gunpowder, green tea, and fresh Ontario." Ginseng directly into the brew. Like green leaves sprouting, this beer boasts the refreshing and natural uh, herbal flavour that pairs well with lobster, pad thai, spring rolls, and sesame chicken. Available only for a limited time. So I think it's already not sold anymore uh, for this year. Uh, this was bought for me, I think uh, they bought it in March. But uh, nevertheless, let's get reviewing and see what it's all about. It's quite an interesting brew. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to remove yeah. the Foil on top and open it up. And I'll just use my uh, snotty glass. Pour it vigorously. Mmm, smells quite nice already. Very foamy, uh, fizzy head. Uh, kind of effervescent. Mmm. Smells real nice. Smells like uh, apples, pears. I can uh, smell the ginseng, I think, and a touch of ginger. Um, the body is very cloudy, and um, I'd say kind of orange, uh, maybe a uh, light like gold orange kind of color. Uh, you can see some bubbles on the sides. Uh, on some sides, there's nothing actually. It's, uh, it's kind of like one-sided, and uh, the heads. Just really light, kind of brown, maybe a bit yellow, kind of color. Very, very uh, nice aroma. Very unique. I've can't really relate it to anything I know. Touch of smokiness as well. Uh, I smell caramel malts. Uh, I smell some hops, and um, that nice kind of fruity smell to it as well. Um, as far as the green tea goes, I think uh, you can you can uh, kind of find a touch of green tea as well. I don't really remember how it smells there, so I wouldn't be quite sure. But uh, overall, a very unique kind of smell. For 4.2%, this is a very strong smell. Uh, I can give it that. So uh, let's give it a try. Hmm. Pure refreshment. That's uh, my first impression I get. Um, um, I find you get uh, that fruity pear, apple uh, mouth, then uh, hits your palate, and you start getting that slightly dry um, flavor of uh, green tea, maybe. A bit of hops as well, together with the green tea. As you drink more of it, uh, hops start uh, becoming more uh, pronounced. Mm. Real nice, really complex. I find it um, really interesting, and it's a, it's a very refreshing kind of thing. It's good for spring, I guess. That's uh, it's uh, on top of the job for this speciality spring release. But and it's not too light bodied for 4.2 percent. Sorry, uh, it's uh, it's I think it's medium bodied and a, a nice uh, crisp mouth feel. The carbonation isn't high. Um, you do get a nice kind of crisp. Uh, Fervescence in it, but really, really nice. So I'll come back later when I you know, finish my bomber. But uh, so far, I'm really impressed. This is a really unique kind of beer.
And now I'm actually um, tasting more um, green tea in it, but I'll come back. Wow, this is such an impressive beer. I mean, I was expecting something, um, something different, something unique from it, but I didn't expect it to be this great. It's just a, such a lovely kind of balanced, complex beer. Uh, starts out really sweet. You get that uh, pear, apples, uh, touch of ginger, something like uh, like I got when I was smelling this. But um, you really taste it, really pronounced kind of nice uh, flavour. Then it goes into a hoppy kind of more drier, drier kind of uh, finish, uh, and then the, the, the notes of a green tea kind of linger on your tongue, but it doesn't leave you dried out or anything like that. For a 4.2% beer, I mean, this is so uh, full bodied, so ba balanced. I mean, it's just such a, such an impressive beer. Uh, it doesn't taste like water at all. It tastes like uh, proper, good, uh, well done kind of ale. And uh, you know, give them the credit for that. Great Lakes Brewery, really top of the line job. Um, has you know everything you need in a nice kind of refreshing beer. At the same time, it's uh, it's complex. You get a lot of things going on in it. Uh, some malts as well. And uh, look at the lacing. There's still uh, some hair going on. It's been a while. And uh, some lacing as well on the, on the glass. Um, takes me no time to drink drink this whole bummer. They're very, very drinkable beer. You could have this all day for all I care. I mean, I could. Um, could make a, an amazing kind of summer beer as well. But unfortunately, it's only uh, sold in uh, spring. I hope I can find a few more bottles before it runs out next time I go to Ontario. Um, otherwise, I'll have to wait till next day, I guess, because uh, this is such an amazing beer. Uh, as far as the grey goes, I'm going to give this a uh, 4.5 out of 5. It's not totally a perfect beer, but it's very, very good. You know, it's a very interesting, different kind of beer. I'm not a huge fan of uh, green tea uh, in general, but uh, I mean, I, I respect that. I like it sometimes. I don't drink a whole lot of it, but it's a very, very good beer. I could drink just loads without problem. I mean, it's so drinkable, so nice. Um, as I was finishing the bomb, I mean, I'm almost done. I didn't feel like it comes, you know, it doesn't become dry or bitter or just boring. No, it doesn't. It still stays lively and fresh and everything. So uh, that's it for this review. Great beer, green tea ale. If you can find this anywhere, um, definitely recommend this. Uh, for people who like hoppy beers, this could be a good choice. I mean, it's not entirely too hoppy. I'm not sure of the uh, international bitter units, but I think it's fairly hoppy as well. Uh, definitely uh, recommended for people like sweet beers. Uh, it's great. It's not too sweet. It's very well balanced. But yeah, it, it's a very refreshing, crisp, nice ale. Thanks for checking out, guys. I'll see you later. Cheers.